Hey, what's up, guys? It's, uh, it's a little bit after 5 in the morning right now. It's one of my favorite times of the day. I've been, uh, I've been super busy lately. Been really burning the midnight oil, working a lot. That's why I kind of look like I'm, um, you know, running a meth campaign or something. Look like a homeless dude. I haven't shaved in a couple of days, and it's because I've been working pretty hard. Um, and sometimes when you do that, you can get to a point where you're feeling like, you know, pretty ungrounded. You know, all of a sudden it seems like, you know, other things in your life are getting kind of out of balance. And, um, and, and so I thought I would share some techniques about breathing and, uh, and then, a, you know, a little way that I incorporate it into how I, you know, meditate to get myself back to the neutral type of a state. Um, so, um, I learned a lot about breathing through this guy, Andrew Wheel. He's like the godfather of breathing. Dude's incredible, so, you know, look him up. Um, you know, I didn't invent any of this stuff. I learned it, you know, a lot of it through his teaching. But, um, you know, one of the simple, one of the first technique I'll just mention to you about is about how to get more energy. And, um, like, last Friday, I was up, I got up 5 a.m., and I literally worked myself to the bone that day. I didn't get done working until almost just about midnight, about 11.30, and then I had, you know, some buddies that wanted me to meet up with them that I hadn't seen in a long time, so... Um, you know, I was pretty tired, but, you know, I just said, hey, you know what, yeah, you know, I, I'm going to go see them anyways. Um, I try to live every day as if it's my last and just to maximize every last bit that I got out of it. Um, but, um, so anyways, I didn't want to take like a five hour energy or a coffee on the way to go meet up with them. So, um, what I did with this really simple breathing exercise and what you do is you just take really short, quick breaths through the nose only. And it seems kind of weird, but it works incredible. All you do is just go. Just really short, quick breath, in and out, in and out, right through the nose. And you do that for about like one to three minutes. And it's almost kind of like an aerobic exercise. Like after you do it for like three minutes, you're like, well, that was almost kind of like an aerobic exercise. But it wakes you up like incredibly. I'll do that a lot of times throughout the day. I'll be like in the bathroom or something, like, you know, I'll need a quick like pick me up or throw out appointments. And, um, you know, I'll just start doing it. <laughs> sure, kind of probably freaks out, you know, the guy next to me in the bathroom thinking, like, you know, the dude next to him is like hyperventilating or something like that. But um, it works crazy. It, it works really good. You'll notice it immediately because it gets all the like oxygen flowing through your bloodstream. Um, gets, you know, resets your neurological network, gets your adrenals flowing. The other exercise I want to share with you about is something really, really simple. It's just um, it's what's called the four, four, six, two. And what you do is you breathe in for four seconds, you hold it for four seconds, you breathe out for six seconds, hold empty breath for two seconds, and then you repeat. So you breathe in for four seconds, hold it for four seconds, breathe out, exhale for six seconds, hold empty breath for two seconds, and then you just keep repeating. And this is kind of like an example. Okay, then. Hold it for four seconds. Exhale. Empty breath for two seconds. Um, you, I like to do that one in the start of my day, like right in the morning, or sometimes at night. It can either work. It can either work to give you more energy or to kind of relax you. Either way, what it does is it basically forces you to slow your breathing down in general, so that your it increases your heart rate variability. And, um, because a lot of us, you know, we breathe really quickly and really shallowly. We're just kind of like, we're not, we're breathing without thinking. Um, and there's an old, like, Asian or Indian saying, and it goes, short breath, short life, long breath, long life. And, and what, and what people that are conscious breathers that have taken the time that to really focus on their breath, they, they, they focus a lot of times on having, you know, longer, deeper breath rather than just the typical person who just breathes really shallow right up here. And so what that simple exercise does is it, it gets you to, you know, slow down your breathing, take 
fuller breath and it helps to reset your neurological network. I'll do that a lot of times throughout the day, you know, if all of a sudden I feel like some anxiety or something like that, or just feeling overwhelmed with things going on, do that exercise. And it, like I said, it resets your neurological network, kind of puts you back in a neutral, grounded state. Think about, for example, if you're like walking on a carpet and you touch something and you shock yourself, that's that ungrounded energy of negative and positive ions. And, um, you know, our bodies and our, you know, what's going on in our lives is kind of similar. Like we can get to a point where like we have so much, you know, overstimulation going on that we're like really ungrounded where, you know, meditation and focusing on your breath grounds you out, brings you back to neutral. And that's a great, you know, simple breathing exercise for doing it. Another thing is to focus really on your breathing, really on breathing out of your your lower belly. <laughs> this has been something that's been a, a challenge for me. Because <coughs> I think for a lot of us, we're used to breathing, excuse me, <coughs> we're used to breathing, you know, up high. And what you really want to learn is to breathe through your, your lower breath. And an easy way to do that is to put your hand on your belly and just focus on the breath. And if you notice your chest moving, expanding, that means you're breathing too up high. And you want to, only your hand should be moving, that means that you're breathing through your belly. And it takes a little bit of practice. But once you get it down, you'll notice that you just start to do it more naturally. And I still catch myself a lot of times breathing wrong the right way. And so I'll try to, you know, again, focus myself to, to breathe lower. And one of the interesting things that I've noticed that, about that is when I started doing that, my, my voice got deeper. I noticed a lot of, like, people who are, like, professional speakers and singers that, you know, they talk about, they are, they're very good at, bre at speaking and orating from certain parts of their uh, vocal cord, like you know, they you know they know how to project from down low or you know up high if they're wanting like a, a higher pitch, and so um, so that's a you know a, an important thing to focus on is trying to focus on the breath coming from down here rather than than up here really shallowly. And, uh, and the last thing I'll just you know share with you about is about how I meditate. Um, meditation is huge. I know a lot, it can seem kind of like new agey and stuff like that. Um, and you know overplayed but I mean there's a lot of clinical studies out there that you know that show through MRIs and stuff like that what it actually does to the mind uh, I mean literally studies have shown that that simple breathing exercises and meditation work more effectively than prescription medications like drastically you know more effectively and, and so it's real stuff, and it's, it doesn't come easy to, uh, naturally to anybody. I don't think anybody you know really starts out as a great meditator. Um, it's actually really difficult. You know, but if you think about anything like playing the guitar or an instrument or something like that, nobody just you know I don't think no matter how great or natural they are at instruments, I don't think anybody the first time they picked up a guitar was just like Ooh. you know even if they you know their learning curve was really short, probably still the first time they picked it up you know it was a little bit of a struggle to figure it out. And it's the same thing with meditation, you know, it's it's just like any other skill. At first, you know, I remember when I first started doing it, it was like, like I set my, I, I would like, like, I don't think I set my timer. I don't think I set, like, oh my gosh, it's been five minutes yet? Like, and I'd be thinking of all these tasks and these things that I needed to do and stuff like that. And um, it'd be so hard just to focus with an unclear mind. But one of the things that I learned, a cool exercise that I learned in how to have a, a clear mind while you're meditating is to kind of, pretend like you're in the middle of outer space, like you're in the middle of the universe. And um, that, you know, when you're breathing, when you're inhaling and you're exhaling, that like the stars and everything are, you know, expanding, detracting, retracting with your breath. And any thought that you have in your mind or like a task or something you got to do or whatever, just imagine it like throwing it out and just like flying away, like Sandra Bullock in the movie Gravity or something like that, just floating away like, oh. And, you know, you might think like, oh, you know, and just whatever, hey, if I forget that thought, you know, whatever, you know, it'll come back to me when necessary. Right now, I'm just focused on this. And the nice thing about that, like, if you do that and you can focus just really consciously trying to have a clear mind, whatever comes to your mind, just throw it away, it actually builds the prefrontal cortex. And there's been studies that have shown that that is a key component in developing willpower. Um, a lot of us, we're not good at focusing and, and, and sticking to habits and things like that because of our lack of ability to focus. And so that teaches you how to, how to focus. It strengthens that part of your mind that can just focus on one thing without getting like distracted by other 
outside stimuli and um and it helps ground you out i mean now meditation is like my favorite time of the day especially when i'm like working a lot like this weekend i got like no sleep um i mean i like on sunday i got like four hours of sleep and then all day sunday all i did was work i've been you know working on building this website and everything and um I had promised myself, you know what, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna watch a movie today, I'm gonna relax a little bit. I haven't seen, literally, I haven't seen a movie or one TV show in probably like two months now, except for Barbie, you know, with my daughter or something. Um, but um, other than that, like, I haven't, you know, taken the time to, like, watch a movie. So I was like, yesterday, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna just watch a, you know, a movie. And uh, and I didn't even get a chance to do that because I just was so, you know, dialed into what I was working on, building this website, learning and working on some projects that I'm working on right now and um and and so it can you know, sometimes, you know, you get to the point where you know you get a little like you know, you can get on grounded and so that's why, you know, when you meditate, you know, as soon as I meditated the next morning and everything, I just felt, you know, right back to zero again, like grounded out, ready to keep moving forward, um, with full productivity and energy and not feeling too overwhelmed or anything like that and um, ready to maximize another day. So, I hope this provided a little bit of insight for you guys. Um, if you have any questions, you know, about any of these, you know, things that I've talked about, feel free to send me a message and I'll, uh, reply to the best I can. Andrew Wheel, look him up. He's that guy I talked about, um, talks about breathing. Incredible. And, um, have a great day, guys. See you.